Do you know that over 500,000 children suffer preventable blindness worldwide? Do you know that vitamin A deficiency blindness is preventable? Yes, it's preventable. And if we could make sure that we have vitamin A in our system before we get pregnant, or even after we deliver the baby and the baby is six months and up, we can take them to the healthcare clinic to get vitamin A supplements. If they are found to be lower, they wouldn't develop this blindness. If we could all adhere to this, we would be saving over 500,000 children's eyesight worldwide every year. Recently, my sisters and I were talking about how our eyesight is beginning to fail us and we've been needing our glasses more. We have used our eyes for a long time, but even noticing the decrease in sight, we were concerned about it. Can you imagine being born into this world and suffering blindness when it could have been prevented if only your parent, especially your mother, had taken vitamin A before conceiving you or had taken you to the clinic appropriately to be dosed up on vitamin A if you were determined to be deficient. In the developed worlds like the United States and Canada and United Kingdom, we don't see this vitamin A deficiency blindness a lot. The rate is very decreased. But in developing countries and places like Asia, developing areas like Africa, it's on the increase because of possibly lack of education, possibly lack of access to healthcare, possibly lack of knowledge to inculcate vitamin A con uh, containing foods or supplements in our diet. This is preventable. This blindness is preventable. If only the mother or the child can have vitamin A. So why don't we team up? I hope you share this video with someone, especially if you live in a developing country like Ghana, like Nigeria, like Cameroon, all the African areas where the lack of access, the lack of financial resources, the lack of knowledge is causing people to go blind when these blindness could be prevented. Please, mothers, let's take our health seriously before we conceive. And even if you don't, and you deliver a child, make sure you follow up to the health clinic with a child to make sure they check their vitamin A levels. Because it's a campaign I'm passionate about because it does not make sense. It does not. There are several vitamin A containing foods that you could start with. All the brightly colored vegetables or brightly colored fruits, like carrots, for instance, has a lot of vitamin A in it. Foods like eggs, whether boiled, fried, whatever, has vitamin A in it. Liver has vitamin A in it. Red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, bell peppers, whatever you eat, whatever color you eat has vitamin A in it, as long as it's brightly colored. All green leafy vegetables have vitamin A in it. And we have abundance around us, especially in areas like Africa. So I don't see why we should be depriving ourselves of them and having these children who like vitamin A. Let's make sure that we take this seriously. Well, the recommendation, if you, are, if you want to know, the recommendation for vitamin A in a day for a male is about 900 micrograms. For a woman, it's about 700 micrograms. And for a kid, could be from 300 to 500 micrograms, depending. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, so you cannot save too much in your system. It could be toxic to your liver if you do. So you have to make sure that you're taking the precise amount needed for your child's eyesight or for your child to prevent that blindness. So you work closely with your healthcare provider. It's also an antioxidant, which helps us stay, keep us away from exposure to smoke inhalations, to radiation exposures, it helps us. So it doesn't let our cells destroy when we're exposed to those things. It fortifies us. Please share this video with a friend. Vitamin A deficiency blindness 
is preventable. Let's try and prevent it because life starts at conception. And as mothers, it's our lot to protect our children. Thank you for watching.